So, uh, yesterday I also got my new jersey, uh, France jersey, and I thought I'm right here. And I thought I'll show you some things that I haven't seen or that I haven't covered in my blog post about the France jersey. First of all, I really like the color, the uh, navy blue. Uh, yes, I would prefer France wearing, oops, it's blue. wearing a more royal blue, like this, like the six version of it. But uh, I'm okay. navy blue. There is some royal blue on the sleeves and here you can actually see the sleeve pattern quite nicely. Uh, has a little zigzag random pattern to it but it actually repeats so it's not that random looks a little bit like a sound wave. Uh, the one thing that I didn't see is that it has this little button on the front which is absolutely non-functional except that if you undo the button There's a little French flag showing, so well, I don't care how much for this detail. I think they could have left the color just plain and without the button. Um, but on the back, the French flag tape, I really, really like it. It really pops out nicely. As you see, I didn't get it with a number. I don't like numbers on, the, on my soccer shirts anymore because they wash out. I wear them frequently. They just wash out. Um, this is also the replica version, not the uh, uh, player version. And the, the reason for that is uh, the replica version has this nice embroidered uh, crest, whereas the player version has a kind of a sticker plastic application here, uh, which I'm not too much of a fan of. I really, really like this cockerel crest. It's really nice, uh, very old fashioned, but also fits nicely with the kind of plain style. Uh, I like it actually better than the version that Adidas was having on their classic jersey. This one, which is kind of a little bit simpler, that's the one that they won the World Cup in. But uh, they used to have this one, uh, I think it was 1958 World Cup for sure, that they were in this. And I therefore I needed to have this one. This was my first Nike France shirt and actually oh, the second one that I really like. Also the Nike logo is here stitched and then of course on the inside we have the little hexagon which is in the player version offset here which says no difference no unison meaning our differences still uh, unite us and what i another interesting detail that i thought was that the inside of the sleeves is actually royal blue uh, so I don't know. Uh, the other thing I noticed when I put it on, it's really comfortable and pleasant to wear uh, Nike's new fabric. I didn't like the latest version of the temple, but the fabric is actually really nice to wear, feels really nice while wearing it. Much better than uh, some of the more recent, like this Adidas Argentina jersey. Uh, for that reason, I actually like, I like wearing them. I don't necessarily always like the look of them, but this year I think the um, Nike jerseys look much better than they did two years ago. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the Nike jersey or whether you got any Nike, France or whatever jersey, whether you prefer, like I do, the replicas or the uh, player jerseys. I, as I said, I prefer the replicas meanwhile more. I have some player jerseys and all I see is always this classic tape in those France jersey from 2010. This is version uh, that all the, even the three stripes are plastic taping uh, which yes supposedly makes it lighter for the players but I personally don't like it that much well if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you've already done so I would like to thank you for your support it is very much appreciated also check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video Thank you for watching and until next time.